All right, everybody, I told you we had an issue going over here, but it's not a big deal. We're going to help the gentleman out. So uh, he's got this cool uh, uh, jet boat here that goes in the Colorado River, and it's Harley Davidson, and we got it off the ramp. And while we're sitting over here, one of my subscribers showed up. And I said, well, but he's going to fire this boat up for us. I said, well, wait, the whole community wants to see this. So uh, let me turn the camera around. I'll introduce the guys to you in a minute, uh, but we're going to uh, listen to this jet boat. It's got a, a 490, I'm out of breath, I just ran over to get my selfie stick. Uh, big old 500 cubic inch of V8 motor, and he had a bigger one before this. But let me turn the camera around and show you what we got. All right, he says be prepared. Uh, be loud. It is gonna be loud. Yeah, I have to find the key first. Might have to reach cut. Gotta get the key. Tell my community your first name again. Robert. Robert. And this is my subscriber to show up. from Apple Valley. There you go. <laughs> Chase me down. What are you driving over here, this little Toyota? Yeah. All right. So uh, Robert's got this beautiful red Harley Davidson, and we have a little issue with it going in first gear. It's going to be a pretty easy fix for us. Uh, we're going to work on that afterwards. But Wait till he gets the bill. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Robert's firing up the boat. Fire it up, Robert. Man, that is loud, but it sounds good. Yeah, drive by. Yeah, runs great. Woo! Is it okay to to run it, um, you know, out of water, or is it just for a couple minutes is okay? No, or? that's all it really started for, um, out of water, you know, just a couple seconds. <clears throat> yeah, I yeah. I need to adjust the, t I see that I need to adjust the idle a little bit, but other than that, because it should stay idling, but it, it, it's cold, you know. So. All right, everybody, we're at the boat ramp here, the Riverside boat ramp? Yes, but turn it you can. And then you hook it. Real we sharp, don't have a diesel sharp, sharp hook. Sure, we don't have a diesel All the way. Sure. We, can, we can turn easily. All the way. All that well. Still, you got to There you go. Then we're going to go down that ramp. So we're going to back it down in there, guys. Yeah. We'll get back to you in a few minutes. You got it. All right, everybody, we had a little problem with the uh, launching the boat. We didn't have a boat plug, so we had to disconnect it and leave it here and uh, go down to the uh, O'Reilly Auto Parts and pick ourselves up a boat plug so we wouldn't sink. And now we're here, the boat is in the water. I just parked, I'm on my way back down there. And uh, this is gonna be fun. So the river's low, but hopefully there's enough water to float this shallow boat. And, uh, here we go. We got our drinks. Robert and I are ready to go. We're ready to crush it. Get some of that water. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got some, uh, some uh, not such good news, actually. Um, Mr. Robert here, who was so kind to want to take me out on the boat, uh, we didn't have a plug. He left it at home, so we... Like I said, disconnected and went over to O'Reilly Auto Parts. All the water was coming in. And uh, water was coming in. He he tried to make some kind of a plug, but it wasn't sealing. So we got us a plug at O'Reilly Auto Parts right over here in uh, Bullhead City. And we came back. It fit in there very tight. It was perfect. It goes right here. Here's the hole. And we put the boat down in the water. And we saw water in the back, in the in the engine compartment again. So we were, we were bewildered. And uh, we pulled it out of the water. We put it back on the uh, trailer. I'd already went and parked uh, the truck. Trailer. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, he said, Robert said, I'm going to get down here and take a look. Yeah. Because we saw water dripping all underneath, all down in here. And he discovered that the bottom of the boat has got a lot of cracks. Right under there. And what he did was he got this boat from somebody. He had a really fast boat. And... Um, they traded him straight up and talked about this motor's only got a couple of hours on it. And we just swapped. And yeah, we just swapped, he says. And uh, I mean, it sounds awesome, but the boat is taking on water. There, There is no plug going to stop water coming in. The hull, the boat, the transom area back here, 
Uh, they around. must have ran over some rocks. This is a river boat. This is what these are designed to be. They don't need much water, and, the, and there's shallow areas out here, sandbars and rocks and stuff like that. And so someone, uh, unfortunately, uh, Robert's a very trusting and nice guy, and um, he got it on Facebook and everything like that, and now we're discovering that <laughs> it isn't just a plug that's gonna help us, but thank goodness that we're okay. We didn't go out there. It's a very strong current. And, um, you know, we... I think it might be fixable. But since we're here, let's go ahead and fire it up. Well, let's fire it up. Let's do it. Water all the way up in here. Yeah, there was water all the way up to here. I think we would have... We wouldn't have I think we would have sank. Yeah, we would have. Not sank. It would have been sank. We would have... It was sinking right here at the big dock. Is crazy. Don't want to dry fire it too long. No. Good. Yeah, it does sound good, doesn't it? Yeah. Man, what a disappointment. That would have been fun. Yeah. That would have been better than any roller coaster raised, ride. The or... water's getting raised up. Yeah, the water's coming up in the river. They opened the dam up here, and literally the water can come right up. Uh, and that's what they do here routinely. Uh, Robert knows all about it. He's been out of this boat ramp many times. Look into it. Look at uh, Robert's moving down here. He's Where do you live again in California? San Fernando Valley. San Fernando Valley. So if anybody uh, knows where that area is, I'm not really sure. It's way north of L.A. Way up oh, in... yeah. It's like up by Santa Clarita, Magic Mountain. Okay. More of a, way, up, way up northern L.A. Oh, okay. Uh, well, he came down. Well, let's go back and have a look at that Harley. Yeah, let's go look at that. He's got a Harley <laughs> with a little linkage issue that we got. No, so we're just having fun. We're just, it's all part of life. I got my sleeve, I'm sure. Yeah. I brought all the toys. Yeah, he did. He's got that big diesel pusher motorhome that he just got. <laughs> uh, Robert's uh, a man of speed. He had a Panamera Porsche, a 20, uh-huh. 23 Corvette. 23 Corvette, an LT or Camaro or something? LT1 Camaro. And uh, I got too many speeding tickets with that. <laughs> speeding tickets one week. Yep. I just said this isn't going to work out, so I, I decided to. I, I missed the Panamera though. So what are we? We're going back. We're going to go back to the drawing board. We're going to go back to the drawing board, board and, and we're crush going to it. crush it. Crush <laughs> it. He got it. 